Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our Great Engine Games and our Crazy Leela series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and um, I just wanted to share something absolutely incredible with you. So um, you may remember the odds match between Leela and David Navarra which was commentated on on this channel. Leela gave the incredibly strong uh, Grandmaster David Navarra night odds um and uh david played absolutely beautifully and kind of you know held the match in a vice-like grip and uh we all thought basically that that had basically shown that um yeah odds chess was kind of impossible somehow um even an engine as strong as leela can't give a strong grandmaster who plays brilliantly night odds but um i got a mail from uh, larry kaufman and he said that um um they'd all been continuing developing leela playing at night odds and uh, um the results have been yeah quite incredible you know leela's i think leela uh now on uh, as a light chess bot had won i think 700 games on the uh, on the bounce something like that often playing um against opponents with 10 or 15 minutes whereas leela was uh, was using virtually no time at all and um, well, it looks like Leela's just made another massive jump somehow in uh, in odds play. Now, there's um, a bot called Leela Night Odds Dev on Lee Chess, and I think now that this uh, Dev bot has been incorporated into the main Leela bot. So I think whichever one you play now, you're playing the latest version. Um, you know, odds uh, odds playing chess always very very difficult. Pieces get exchanged, you end up in a in a night uh, in a in an ending just a night down. So how do you do it? Well, let's have a look how Leela is doing it. I have to say the chess is like nothing I've ever seen. This is Leela Night Odds Dev against I'm the best Grandmaster 2010 uh, light chess rating. Um, uh, Black playing with uh, 10 minutes and Leela I think playing a lot faster. So d4 was what Leela played. Knight f6, bishop f4. Even without a knight on b1, the London system is best, it seems. d5, c3, e6. Actually, black playing uh, pretty much like um, David uh, Navarra played. Very classical setup, very safe. Knight f3, c5, e3, knight c6, bishop d3, and now bishop d6. And uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much what uh, David was doing. Very classical setup, keeping the uh, um, the uh, the king nice and safe and offering the exchange of pieces. So um, d takes c5 played by Leela. And that's um, uh, a clever move. So um, just uh, obviously if uh, you know, black can exchange off the bishops, but then uh, white would have gained uh, one pawn back. So black takes off the um, uh, the pawn, but at least White's gained a bit of time to, um, uh, to uh, yeah, not to exchange off pieces. So um, Torch, by the way, um, a standard engine there, just uh, running without any knowledge of odds chess, is assessing the position for Black as, um, as four pawns advantage. So yeah, you know, pretty impressive, really. Um, now, of course, the important thing in odds chess is to play um, aggressively. And for humans, that's pretty, you know, uh, pretty obvious, right? We know uh, that, uh, well, we're going to lose an ending in the, in the long run, so we've got to play aggressively. But hard to uh, to get engines to uh, to understand this. But yeah, what they've done with Leela is incredible. So Leela plays Queen E2, castles and castle queenside. Leela is playing super aggressively already. So Black played uh, A5. Uh, not um, not a silly move at all. I mean, you want to get the, the queen side play going. This pawn can come down here, for example. You might even play a, a, a move like b5 to sacrifice a pawn, open up the b file. I mean, after all, there aren't that many pieces around the uh, the white king. You're kind of missing a knight there, aren't you? Bishop g5 from um, from uh, from white, just pinning the knight on uh, on f6. And Black sort of thought, well, you know, let's call um, White's bluff here and play h6, bishop h4 and g5. I think the idea of this really was that, um, OK, you're weakening your king side. But OK, you know, White will play bishop g3 and then we're going to start doing our stuff on the um, on the queen side, you know, just start uh, uh, attacking like that. Well, Leela did something uh, quite brilliant here. So knight takes g5, takes, takes. So, OK sacrificing um, another piece but opening up the uh, the king's side now i mean that is to be honest 
perfectly what a human player would do uh, playing odds. But um, of course, you know, for uh, for an engine, you might easily think, well, you know, uh, why am I giving two pieces away? I should be trying to, uh, you know, to stay back. But um, yeah, that's what Leela does. Going for the extra danger, opening up the king. So king g7 and now h4. So, um, yeah, I mean, Torch, obviously, you know, is uh, um, is going to be able to uh, to work out, you know, strong engines will, of course, be able to uh, to win this with black. Uh, Torch looking was looking for e5 and then queen d6 just to unpin, which is quite a nice way. Black actually made um, quite an interesting um, uh, blunder here, played the move bishop e7. And uh, why is it a blunder? Well, it actually gives white the opportunity to um, force a draw. Because you can go uh, bishop takes f6 check, bishop f6 and queen g4 check. Now black can't go king h8 because of queen h5 check and then queen h7 checkmate. But black can go king h6 and then queen f4 check, king g7 with a draw. The really interesting thing there is that Leela doesn't want to hear any of it. Leela is going for the win. The win and only the win. So no draw there. Played the move g4. Thought this was really cool. So black played um, knight g8 and now f4 from white. And yeah, interestingly enough, black played the move f6. So this bishop on, um, on uh, g5 is actually uh, trapped. And, um, you know, it's not necessarily that black is going to take it straight away. Um, but the problem is, is that the bishop's in the way, so it stops these pawns from moving forwards. So, you know, from that point of view, it's quite a clever little uh, little setup. And black's going to, you know, sort of uh, get some pieces organized, maybe, uh, you know, strengthen, uh, strengthen the king side, maybe get a little bit of queen side play going. And then afterwards, we'll look to um, to uh, uh, to take the bishop. So what does Leela do? No worries. We don't care about pieces. Bishop takes f6. I mean, if you include um, giving the um, giving the knight on b1 away from move one, this is the third piece sacrifice. And it's absolutely incredible because these pawns are rolling. Leela's just throwing the pawns up. Bishop e7 and now h5. And yeah, I mean, no, normally you just say, oh, well, pawns, you know, it's not going to be that dangerous. But OK, I mean, h6 and g6 are coming in. And, you know, this king doesn't have um, a fantastic way of uh, of hiding out there. Now, I think you really need to be an engine to uh, to work out um, a good way of um, of uh, stopping all this. And um, what Torch points out is the, the lovely idea knight h6. And after g takes h6, you go back to h8. And um, you, you, you're trying to use these doubled h pawns as a, as a barrier. I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say that it's 100% comfortable, right? Because, you know, you've got quite a bit of pressure on the G file. I mean, you can try and aim for G7. You can play H7 and then try and stick some stuff on G8. I mean, it still <laughs> feels a little scary here. But the engines think that, uh, you know, that's still uh, something like plus, uh, plus 2, uh, 2.7 for, uh, for black. So still working. But um, the black opponent played E5 and now H6 check. And yeah, where, where are you going now? Well, I mean, I, I can imagine that uh, a human opponent would not like the look of, uh, of this. Um, actually, um, what Torch says is that rook f5 is the way to go. Um, just blocking this diagonal to allow g7, king h7. And then um, if queen c2, queen d7, you know, desperately holding that barrier. But OK, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I mean, there's there's so many things that I don't understand why, you know, why isn't this, why isn't this winning for, uh, for white? For example, you know, rook h5, for example, springs to mind now. And uh, if rook h5, then uh, g7 checkmate. I mean, there's just, uh, you know, the tactics are just going to be incredible, I guess. Right. So, um, but, um, but yeah, this is so, so dangerous. But um, so black tried to escape with king f7. After all, he's three pieces up. So uh, why wouldn't he be able to run? But a fourth piece sacrifice is coming in. Bishop c4. It's very nice. I mean, you're uh, sort of uh, attacking uh, the black king from uh, from both sides here, you know, uh, along the a2 uh, g8 diagonal and along the h5 e8 diagonal. So, um, yeah, what is black going to do here? I mean, a move like bishop e6. Do you know that uh, queen h5 is checkmate? 
pawns here stopping the king from escaping there and uh, yeah queen h5 was checkmate i will tell you actually that um one of the things that's really noticeable from these uh from these uh, uh games of of leelas like this the number of unusual mates um i, I mean i'm really it's it's really quite shocking how many bizarre mates leader, leader is finding with these uh, weird combination i can understand that human players you know with not so much time are, are getting uh, caught by these because uh yeah they're really confusing i'll uh, i'll yeah i'm going to show some more games of this so uh, you'll come across them uh, and and you'll see what i mean well i mean um, the the black player played d takes c4 i mean basically going for material there so he's saying well okay i'll lose my uh, my queen but i'm going to have rook and four minor pieces for uh, for a queen surely that should give me something the great thing is that Leela says queen doesn't interest me at all <laughs> so plays the move queen h5 check king e6 and then this move h7. Um, Torch thinks that um, that uh, prefers the move queen g6 check, but um, also considers that h7 is winning. Um, and um, well, I mean, uh, it's uh, um, it's it's quite nice what uh, that uh, that Leela played this because it leads to a gorgeous finish. A bit reminiscent of um, of the um, the famous uh, Ed Lasker Sir George Thomas game. You, you'll you'll see what I mean when you see it. So knight f6 played, obviously to stop h8. And now um, mate in 14, says uh, Torch, and Leela goes for it. F5 check. King can't retreat. That king's got to go forward. G takes F6, discovered check. King has to go forwards. Rook H4 check. And uh, opponent playing a little bit like an engine there, giving away some uh, material, just to delay mate. Queen G4. King takes E3. And then you've got your choice of mates, but Queen G3, King E2. Rookie one check was uh, was Leela's choice. I mean, that is simply amazing, right? I mean, just absolutely incredible, absolutely bananas. And it's all possible, you know, due to uh, all the work that the Leela devs have done, you know, which are highlighted with all the crazy Leela games I've annot annotated on this um, on this channel, you know, where Leela is just able to um, to play these unbalanced positions you know, just in a way that you say, yeah, that's how it has to be played. Full aggression, you know, be willing to uh, to stand even worse than you do now, but in order to put the risk and, uh, you know, and uh, and confuse the opponent. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just working brilliantly in uh, in odds chess. But I have to say that, you know, this is pretty, a pretty amazing position to uh, to have. Knight on B1, you sacrifice two more pieces, throw all your pawns, at the um, at the opponent and then end up mating the king just uh, in your own half of the board. Absolutely brilliant chess from uh, from Leela and yeah, this is just uh, you know one example. So do stay tuned in the next um, in the next uh, next days and weeks because I'm going to be uh, picking out um, uh, regularly some uh, some games from uh, from uh, from there and uh, yeah, you're just going to see how fantastic this is. Hope you're enjoying it. Do give a like and subscribe. If you're uh, enjoying all the content, do keep your eyes peeled. I've got lots more Mariotti games to come as well. That's also fantastic attacking chess. And uh, otherwise, thanks very much for watching and hope to see you at the next videos. Thanks for watching.